Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to iChat Chat Reviewers. In this video, I have a quick little Mac app review for an application. I believe it's pronounced Slipnir or Slipnir or something like that. Uh, as you can see, I have two of them here. Uh, this is the Mac App Store version, which I'm going to review. This is one from their website. It's the like pro version, and it's got features that can't be put into the Mac App Store. So they're it's just on their website, but they're both free at the time of this review. Uh, so let's pop open the. Uh, version that is actually on the Mac App Store. Um, not now. I'm going to close all these and it will just go straight to Google. So I was just using the command W uh, shortcut to close those and every time that I do that it doesn't actually close out of this entire window, it just closes out of this little tab. So your tabs go up there, you can click Control T and have a new one. So it's really fast. Um, super fast. I mean, it's probably one of the quickest browsers I've used in a while. This is how you get to the URL bar. It's kind of weird, but uh, after you get used to it, it's really, it's really a nice place for it because it just keeps it out of the way and you have a much larger viewing area for what you're looking up. So, youtube.com. Boom. It's pretty fast. Reload. These are your downloads. I downloaded the other version. Um, full screen mode. Pretty nice. Just demo that for you. So you got full viewing area and minimal uh, bars at the top. I'll bring that back. <clears throat> this is one of my like favorited sites. I can click this button and see some different tabs here. I've got. You can um, put these sites into different folders. I guess you would call it. Uh, so I got like shopping folder, research. These are like the defaults. Read later. And these are like the tabs. So I can go back to here. And if I go to, I don't know, Touch Arcade, click on that. And then I click this button. It'll favorite it. And then if I click on it again, it will um, add the bookmark. And then I can put it in uh, Design, Science, Mac, whatever. <clears throat> so I'm going to remove bookmark. Uh, yes. Yeah, so I will just close out of this. You can go back and forth. Another thing, if I just open up a couple of these real quick, swiping with two fingers backwards just goes to different tabs as well as for wait yeah forwards. It doesn't go back and forth like up here like in Safari. So that's something to keep in mind. Uh, you can web search here, except when you when you click a new tab, it goes straight to Google, so you don't have to worry about that. So yeah, that it's a pretty simplistic. Um, browser. I really like it just for its simplicity. I'll probably, uh, I probably won't use this regular version. Uh, I recommend going to their site and getting the uh, pro version. It's got a couple more features that I think are substantial. You know, I like to have the most that you can and it's free. So yeah, there's that. And that's really all there is. I just go through some of these and just show you some of the options here, which I never really use any of these. So, yeah, that's basically it, guys. Um, check out this browser. Like I said, it's free on the Mac App Store. It's this blue version, and then the black version is on their website, and it's got more features, and it's also free. So that's about it for this one. Check this app out. I really like it. It's a great browser if you like bigger viewing area, as well as just it's super fast. It, there's no wait, really, for anything. So check it out, link in the description. I'll see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Peace.